Hello and a very warm welcome. This is a message to Lewis Hamilton fans. And yeah, this video could divide opinion, but I'm all for that because it needs saying this. As a Lewis Hamilton fan, since 2006, I would say I'm in the hardcore bracket of Lewis Hamilton. Being a fan, as you can see, posters behind me, all over my room. Been a massive Hamilton fan since 2006. I've got to say, I'm absolutely disgusted. And people, like, letting... For me, I'm a loyal Lewis Hamilton fan. And these people that are sending death threats to Nicholas Latifi, abusing Max, they're, they're an embarrassment. And they're letting the loyal Lewis fans down. Like, it's... I mean, how long's it been since Abu Dhabi now? We're coming up to two weeks and there's still Lewis fans that have not got over it. Accept it. Move on. We go into 2022. It hurts. But let's be real. Um, this is not a Max issue. This is not a Lewis issue. It was a cock-up by the FIA. The result is not going to be changed now. So accept it. Move on. Sending death threats to Nicholas Latifi, abusing Max, it, it's wrong at the highest level. Um, yeah, it's not right. And Lewis Hamilton fans should accept this now. Mercedes have been an embarrassment. And mo a majority of Lewis Hamilton fans have also been an embarrassment. Not accepting it, moaning, whining, um abusing Latifi, abusing Max, Crash Staffen, Fraud Staffen, all this stupid, like, uh, words. It do, it's just, it's nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Of course, I was in tears when it happened. It was tough to take. But I composed myself, and I, 10 minutes after the race, I came on here and congratulated Max, as I did with Nico Rosberg, as I will do with anyone who's world champion. You've got to take these defeats. Like, just sport, be sporting in defeat. Um, it's time. It's gone. It's dusted. It accepted. Um, yeah, Mercedes didn't do their appeal. So it's finished. Max is champion. And that will always remain in Formula 1 history. Of course, it probably was robbed. Um... The FIA and Massey are not up to their job. But it's not Max's fault and it's not Latifi's fault. There's no... It's just wrong. I don't know how these people can call themselves F1 fans. But banging on. And we're going to see this in 2022. A new season. And you're still banging on about 2021. And what is Lewis's... What is Lewis Hamilton's motto? We win and we lose together. And these people are not going by their driver. We win and we lose together. We've absolutely dominated the hybrid era with six world championships in the hybrid era. Of course, he won one with McLaren, but let's talk about the hybrid era. Dominated six F1 titles. And as soon as we lose one, you're letting the side down. An absolute embarrassment what I'm seeing. Like... Lewis Hamilton, he, he like, he stayed off social media, he just calm himself, he'll be enjoying time with his family during Christmas. I mean, he'll be absolutely sickened when he sees that Lewis Hamilton fans have been sending death threats to Nicholas Latifi. They've been abusing Max, calling him a fraud champion. It's nothing to do with Max. Like, Max did nothing wrong. He did something wrong in Brazil. He did something wrong in Saudi. Uh, 100%. But he did nothing wrong in Abu Dhabi. And actually, he deserves credit for racing clean. Because it would have been easy to take out Lewis. So, yeah. I say it how I see it. I'm a Lewis Hamilton fan. Us Lewis Hamilton fans should be coming together in this difficult period. And Lewis will come back and win the 2022 title. There's no doubting in my mind. Um, he'll come back stronger. I believe he could win the title next year and then he'll call it a day. Um, even though he's contracted till 23. 
But yeah, enough is enough now. Time to accept it. Stop banging on about it now. It's done. Do you, like Lewis, Lewis, a guy who is, he wants to win on track. That is his motto. Win on track. You want to win it in a courtroom to gain the eighth title, which cements his legacy in the sport as the greatest of all time. He's got to win his eighth on track. He's got to live that moment on track. He's got to come on the radio and be emotional in tears because he's just created history. You don't want that by Mercedes. I mean, Mercedes have absolutely tarnished their brand, in my opinion. Moaning and bitching all the time. Don't even congratulate the opposition. It's poor, man. It's absolutely poor. That's not the way I was brought up anyway. As a Lewis Hamilton fan, I feel like we've been blessed. We may have got robbed of the title, but it's not going to change. It is cemented. Max is the champion. He's picked up his uh, F1 trophy at the awards. It's done. It's done. But Lewis Hamilton's motto is we win and we lose together. And some Lewis fans are not sticking to that motto. Um, We support through the good times. We support through the bad times. I've supported for 15 years. I've been through the highs and the lows. Losing the title in 07. Winning the title in 08. Losing the title in 16 and 21. Winning titles. I don't think we can complain as Lewis fans. Um, Yeah, we've been blessed. And I believe he'll come back. This will motivate him. Of course, you're not hearing from him right now because he's hurt him. He, He probably won't ever get over this. But the best way to come back is to win the title and prove the FIA and the doubters wrong once again. But I'm 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 tired of it now. Every every bloody um, F1 post or something to do with F1 fraud Staffen, crash Staffen. It's like these are the people that will have been sending death threats to Nicholas Latifi, abusing Max. I mean, of all your intelligence, the best you can come up with is crash Staffen, FIA Hamilton. I mean, it, it's embarrassing, man. Honestly, it's so poor. I mean, if you're going to insult them, at least come up with a decent, like, bit of banter. Crash Staffen, fraud Staffen. I mean, honestly, it's cringy, man. I do question whether these guys are real F1 fans. I mean, I'm an F1 fan. People can come on in the comments saying, oh, fake Hamilton fan, whatever. Well, if I'm a fake Hamilton fan, why would I have a hoodie on? Hamilton, poster in the background, poster on my wall there. Uh, upstairs, I've got all like classic cars. Uh, got this uh, Christmas present from a couple of years ago. Uh, his first podium in F1. I can get that, actually. First podium in F1. I'm a hardcore Lewis fan, but now enough is enough now. I'm sick of hearing about Abu Dhabi. It's time to move on and focus on the new rule changes, the new season. We still don't know whether Lewis will continue. I believe he will do. I can't see him retiring because if he retires, you're gifting George or Max another championship. And what a sour way to go out. An F1 legend goes out by losing the title on a controversial decision. Lewis will be back. I'd be absolutely astounded if he called it a day and retired. A message to Lewis Hamilton fans. Stop bitching, stop moaning and accept it. And we go on to 2022. We win and we lose together is Lewis Hamilton's motto. And you're tarnishing that um, motto by moaning, posting online. Crash Staffen, sending Latifi death threats. Honestly, it's embarrassing. As a Lewis Hamilton fan, over the last couple of days, I've actually been embarrassed by people claiming to be Hamilton fans because they're letting their side down. That is my opinion. I always say it how I see it. I can't help it. That's just the way I am. People will sit on the fence, 
But you got to say it how you see it. Enough is enough now. It's time to move on and focus on a new season. And I fully believe Lewis will come back fighting. I put a sneaky bet on Russell being a champion in 22. But I actually, like that was just a bit of, Russell's exciting. He's going to push Lewis. But honestly, Lewis, he'll be so fired up. He'll, we, I mean, we've already seen world-class races. We could see the best of Lewis Hamilton in 2022 because he's going to be angry and he's going to be fighting. He's going to be motivated. Enough is enough now. Stop with the bullshit abuse. Stop with the stupid memes of Crash Staffen, Fraud Staffen, Latifi. Of course, Latifi's not fit for purpose. We know that. But you can't be sending him death threats. He didn't do it on purpose. Why would he? There's nothing to gain from it. If it was Yuki Tsunoda or Gasly, then you've got a right to question it because that would look a hellish dodgy with uh, Red Bull Alpha Tauri. Um, obviously, that link. But yeah, as Lewis always says, we win and we lose together. It's time to focus on a new season. Um, yeah, I've got to say, as a Lewis fan, I, I've been very embarrassed the last couple of days with so-called Lewis fans posting absolute shite on social media. And honestly, uh, um, yeah, it's time to move on. Enough is enough now. Comment down below. Controversial video, but I say it how I see it. And yeah, keep a lookout for daily F1 videos. And Merry Christmas. Um, yeah, hope you have a good Christmas with your family. We'll continue on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Controversial video. But people call me a Lewis Hamilton fanboy, which, no questions, I am. They say I'm biased. I am not biased. I'll argue with anyone in the comments. I am not biased. If I was biased, I wouldn't come on and congratulate Max for being a world champion. I don't think I've come on here and bitched and moaned like mo the majority of Hamilton fans. I said, it's done, it's dusted. The result was never going to change. Um, yeah. It is what it is. We will come back in 2022. And Lewis will be super motivated. Comment down below your thoughts. Adios.